Hey YouTube, it's Shayla Ned. I'm back with a update tummy tuck video for you guys. I am currently seven months post op. Yay! <laughs> um, man, seven months flew past, y'all. I was supposed to do one at six months, and that just literally like just flew by. I looked up, I'm like, oh, I'm six months, I'm gonna do a video. Next thing you know, I'm seven months. So <laughs> I'm doing an update for you now. Um, I wrote down a couple of things. I felt like I didn't discuss as much as I wanted to my last video but to be honest with y'all I haven't changed much since um 11 weeks post-op it was easier for me to vlog and document what I was going through in the beginning because like every day and every week I had changes going on you know there was something new to talk about now I'm just like living my life like everything's normal <laughs> you know I won't say everything is 100% normal because I still have restrictions in the gym. There are still some, some workouts that I do not do. Um, when I'm laying in bed, I still can't lay in, like I can't lay completely straight when I'm laying on my stomach because I do feel like my, my um, incision is being pulled. So I think those things are just normal. But yes, yeah, so I won't say like I'm 100%, like everything's just regular with me. But for the most part, I don't really have no updates. You know, I'm being honest with y'all. I want to get on here and just be rambling and bore y'all. So ask me questions. I need you guys to ask me questions so I can know what to talk about when I'm on here. So it don't sound like I'm just, you know, not talking about nothing. But I want to talk about this first because I don't feel like I stress the importance as well as after my surgery. So of course, you know, if you get your tummy tuck because of muscle repair, your um, muscles are they're really sore. To me, that is the worst part about this tummy tuck is the muscle repair. Some women say lipo. Lipo does burn, but in my case, it was the muscle repair. That shit hurt like hell. And I could not sit down. You don't realize how much of your muscles or your core you use daily just doing something like sitting down in a car, sitting down on the toilet. Um, so I got this on Amazon, off of Amazon, and this was a lifesaver. Like... <laughs> It's funny because, you know, you got to stand up, you put it right here, and then you pee. <laughs> and I remember remember, uh, I remember my mom, like, laughing her ass off when she first saw me doing this. And I'm like, Mom, shut up because you're making me laugh. And I couldn't laugh because it hurt so much. But it is funny. It's funny to see a woman standing up and peeing. But, y'all, this thing, it changed. It was a game changer. Like, I'm going to take these out when on my drunk nights. I'm going to use this and, you know, be on the side of the road. Like... <laughs> No, I don't do that no more. But I'm just saying, what was this at when I was 21, okay? <laughs> but um, yes. So I used that for like the first week. And um, I wasn't really sitting on the toilet like that because I didn't have a bowel movement. Maybe my fourth day is when I had my first bowel movement. But after that, it wasn't daily. Like I was constipated because I was on pain meds and stuff like that. So the only time I did sit on the toilet is when I had to poop, which wasn't that often. So I recommend that thing. 10 out of 10, get it on Amazon. It's like $15. I wanted to talk about that because, like I said, I feel like I was using that thing a lot and I never even mentioned it. Like, you know, so, yeah. Um, Let's see. As far as the sleeping, I briefly talked about how I'm sleeping. So right after surgery, you know, you slip on your back because you're not allowed to sleep on your stomach after the tummy tuck. And me, I am a stomach sleeper. I do not like sleeping on my back. I thought it was the most uncomfortable thing. But after having the surgery, I kind of prefer to sleep on my back now. Like, that's crazy. Because you, because I've done it for so long. Um, so when I finally got in my bed after sleeping on a recliner for like maybe three, four weeks, um, I had pillows all around me. I had like two pillows under my legs. I had pillows behind my back. I had them on my sides and everything. I had a neck pillow. That was the only way I could sleep comfortably without being in, you know, a lot of pain. When I hit three, maybe four months post-op is when I started to sleep on my sides. Um, even now, when I sleep on my stomach, I have to have a pillow in front of me. I don't sleep on my stomach as much before I had this tummy tuck like that's all I did was I'm a stomach sleeper but now I'm I'm really on my sides and when I'm on my sides I still have a, a pillow right here I have a pillow in between my legs and I have a pillow sometimes I still sleep with the neck pillow just to raise me up a little bit but y'all I don't think I'm ever gonna sleep like I used to 
Because like I said, when I'm laying flat on my stomach, I feel like my incision is being pulled. So I don't know. You know, you just got to make some changes. <laughs> and that's one of the changes. I don't sleep the way I used to. So y'all let me know how y'all sleeping after y'all tummy tuck. Like I said, I'm seven months post-op and I'm still not sleeping the way I was prior to surgery. Um, belly button. So when I saw my doctor at six months post-op, I did mention my belly button. I told him how women were saying that it looked dead. And I asked him, I said, you know, my belly button is kind of dark. Is it supposed to look like that? And he did explain to me that my belly button is fine. He said that um, it is a little bit bigger than it than it could be. Like it, it, it could be smaller. And he asked me that I want to get a revision on my belly button. And I told him, no, I'm like, I don't want to get surgery just to get my belly button smaller. I actually like my belly button. And I've said this in so many videos. I don't mind it being dark. Um, it's probably not going to really pick it up on the camera, but I like my belly button, y'all. I don't have no complaints. And it's funny because it actually looks rounder now. When my stomach isn't as bloated, my belly button kind of comes down just a little bit further. But now it's more round because I'm bloated. And I'm bloated because I just finished eating. I'm always doing these videos after I eat. I got to start doing them like early in the morning <laughs> so y'all can see how flat I really am. But I just ate, um, what did I eat? Panera bread. So it's probably the bread. I probably need to cut back on the carbs. But y'all, I'm trying to gain, not necessarily weight. I'm just trying to build muscle. I'm trying to get my butt bigger so that I don't go back for a BBL, okay? <laughs> so that's the goal right now. So I am eating more carbs. I'm taking in more protein. Um, I am eating beef. I'm eating fish. But I'm trying to eat uh more of a cleaner diet so like instead of like i'll do whole wheat i won't do as much seasoning you know stuff like that y'all know how i go um but yeah so belly button is fine i'm not getting a revision on my belly button another thing that we talked about we talked about this pain i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys in my last video but the upper abdomen now he was saying that everything looks fine he's saying it's normal you know after you eat you will expand more this is something that happens even before a tummy tuck you know before the tummy tuck i would wake up in the morning and i was flatter and then i can go drink a glass of water and then my stomach gets full so it's normal like don't beat yourself up because you're not flat all the time you're not going to be flat 24 7 like you're just not tummy tuck or no tummy tuck i think what we do is we get this surgery and we think our stomachs are just gonna we're gonna look like a barbie doll all day long and that's that's just not real you know <laughs> um i had to tell myself that because i'm a small woman and i'm like ain't no way my stomach should look like this but it's also what i eat and i noticed that after i eat the top of my stomach does expand more and i do have some pain right here and so i asked my doctor about it and he gave me a shot that was supposed to numb that area. When I tell y'all I left that doctor's office and I felt worse than what I did going into there, I'm like, what the hell did he give me? The pain was just right here at first. And then it, when he gave me the shot, I felt it all the way down. And so I'm like, oh my God. So on my ride home, I thought that the pain was gonna get better and it didn't, it actually got worse. So I went to Walgreens, I got an aspirin, um, I have some Arnica gel here. I rubbed it on my stomach, went to bed, and the next morning I did feel better. Um, the pain is something that I deal with every day. Some days is worse than others, and it is tender. When I touch that area, I do feel, you know, some soreness. So I called my doctor yesterday. I asked him, you know, to go ahead and try to give me an um, a ultrasound so that they can look and make sure that everything is okay. And he's saying what he think it could be is after I eat... I'm possibly pulling on a, a stitch. Like once my stomach expands some, it's probably a stitch being pulled. So he did give me an order for ultrasound. They're gonna look at it. That appointment is uh, June 15th. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. Hopefully I didn't ruin my muscle repair like I've been saying all this time. Um, a lot of women don't like, that is more common than you think it is. There's so many women saying like, oh, that's very hard. You gotta fall down a flight of stairs. That is not true. One of my doctor's patients, she sneezed at four weeks post-op and ruined her muscle repair. So I think it also depends on your surgeon and what type of stitches they use. I'm not sure, but I hope that's not the case with me. 
um, because I really don't want to get surgery again. But if that is the case, I do want to get that fixed because like I said, I shouldn't be feeling any pain at seven months post-op and it is very uncomfortable. So I'll let you guys know how that visit goes. Last thing I wanted to discuss is compression. So I am no longer compressing. Um, I don't want to say like at all because I still do wear it every once in a while, especially if I'm feeling really bloated that day. Um, I do not wear my tribute so anymore. I put that on recently just for about an hour or so, but it is so uncomfortable. So I don't wear that anymore. The only thing I do wear is my waist cincher, the one I got on um, Amazon. Um, and I do wear that when I go to the gym. I'm probably going to wear that in a gym up to a year. And then after that, I probably won't wear it no more. Um, and like I said, I only wear it when I'm feeling bloated. But for the most part, I am not in compression. So this is me, like I said, after um, eating Panera Bread. And that was about an hour ago. Um, let me show you guys my stomach. And like I said, I still do with the swelling up here which is not as bad right now, but it can get worse. And this is where the pain is. So yeah, we'll see what happens when I go to the doctor. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. So when I do my next updated video for you guys, I actually have a list of questions that you guys wanna ask me. Cause like I said before, I am seven months post-op and there's not many changes since 11 weeks. So yeah, this is me. You guys, let me know what you think about this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on my next update.